we have a close approach at 1.8 kilometers perfect and we'll be there in about 15 minutes so see if we can spot the target. There we are, nine kilometers out. All right. Let's get into deceleration position. Okay, now we just let this thing get down to something less than a kilometer and begin braking. Time warp this up to speed it up a little bit. Vector. Close a little bit more distance and start breaking. Let's open the solar panels and turn the lights on. Grade marker right on the target. Excellent. Now we switch to chase cam and docking mode. I probably don't need this now. Select my target. No, not yet. Control from here. Activate docking camera. Just to see if it helps. Continue the approach. Nice, easy 2.8 meters a second. All right, after about 20 minutes of maneuvering around, I'm finally just about in position for docking. there. Moving down and forward at the same time. With these two lined up, I should be right in for perfect docking.
looks good. Ready to kill the SAS. SAS off. As they bounce around a little bit in the docking dance. See, this is going to take a while. Seven frames a second because both ships. I don't think we need that anymore. And we're docked. That took a long enough. Now, let's finish the refueling operation. And then, off camera, I'm going to launch another one of these XD drives to act as a booster to take this thing out into the world. Or out in actually to Duna, if at all possible. Because there is still a bunch of ships there that need fuel. And even with the fuel ships that are there and the other ship that is arriving, there isn't enough there now. So we need to get this thing there as soon as we can. I can easily see it taking a year of flight time, however, but we'll deal with that when we get to it. Yes, it's fully fueled and ready. So now, no, 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 no. We control from here and undock the other one. Okay, undock. Turn off the staging mode, and let's thrust away. Oh, I'm on the wrong ship. Where was I? Alright. And now we just go ahead and turn it retrograde and burn for a D orbit. And never mind about specific exact landing places. Uh, that one attempt to land at KSC or close to it put me in the ocean half a world away. So, we'll just take that sucker down. Let's see. Flight stats. Periapsis down to the surface. And put 
this flight out of its misery. And don't you love it when the camera switches like that? Okay. Time to fast forward. physics time warp to keep the idea of fast working and we no longer need the booster stage oh can't do that in time warp huh well it would help if I turned off stage lock this sucker down. How about that? Passing right under the booster that we just jettisoned. Tree here. Looks like we're going to land in the desert. How about that? Flaming parachutes. I obviously staged one stop too many because that's not good shouldn't engage the parachutes until you're down to about two or three hundred meters per second, certainly less than three hundred meters a second. Okay, time warp. Okay, we'll call this a good flight and a safe landing. I am now going to go off camera and launch another XD Drive Mark V to use as an interplanetary booster. And we'll catch up with you once I've got it docked. And here we are once again docking, or just about ready to dock, 13 meters out and closing. like we're just about lined up right. Coming in nice and slow and safe. I forgot to set the solar panels out on the D-Drive. Not that it matters here in the dark, but it's just for the sake of completion. needs to be, they need to be extended. Looks like we're right on target. And we're docking. Say us off. We are docked that quick and easy. Very good. Excellent. Docking camera off. All right. Now the next step for this ship 
is to plot a course that will take it somewhere we need a keysane miner. First up, Duna. So, well, let's uh, put some place here for that maneuver to be. Let's plan it for here the next time around. Ah, come on. That way there's plenty of time to work out the details. Set Duna as target. it. And let's see what we can do with navigation. There's our close approach markers way too far away. We'll put a radio here. See if we can't bring those markers together. not exactly a fuel efficient course because Duna is still way out of position. But we'll do what we can with what we've got. It would be better still if the maneuver note didn't di keep disappearing on me. slice it, this thing's going to use an insane amount of fuel to get out there. Ugh. Starting to get close. much fuel it's going to cost. That's no good. 
Let's just kill that node. It's not going to work. Instead, I'm going to try something here. MechJob has a maneuver planner. I'll help you plan a maneuver. I've got a target selected, so let's have it create a maneuver. To transfer to another planet. Create node. Thousand fifty four meters a second launching in forty five days. You know something? I'm okay with that. So let's see. If I can get this maneuver node up, okay. Let's see if I can fine tune this. There's an encounter. Doing a periapsis thirteen thousand. Thirty thousand, no good. Seven thousand, better. Whoops. Okay. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to schedule that burn. Alarm clock. We'll add a new alarm. And this is Fuel Factory Mark III. Let's just uh, call it FF3 Fortuna. And let's get uh, a good 60 minutes of warning. All right, the maneuver is scheduled, and very soon uh, we'll be taking care of that maneuver. And now that this ship has a course plotted for it, and it will be going to Duna, I'm going to rename this thing give it an appropriate name for the flight and this will be Duna, Duna Fuel Factory it's not a lander it's a ship alright now that this is taken care of I'm going to take some time off camera and launch another set like this and get it set up. As a matter of fact, I'm going to launch several of them. Several fuel factories, get them all refueled and get drive units docked with them. And we'll be setting up some more maneuver nodes because we're going to be sending these things all over the place. And now here I am several flights later having launched another fuel factory and two XD drive Mark V's to refuel it and this is the third one which will be docking as its interplanetary drive we're 18 meters out from actual docking well 13 meters for 12 meters for the uh, docking ports and we're just about on to target here a little bit of fine tuning should do that and decelerate down to about two meters per second don't need to be hitting very hard on docking okay there we go looking good moving right into alignment I figured out that the dashed black and white lines is the position of the target and the red X or cross or plus or whatever that is is uh, where my ship is aimed and when the two are overlapped like that we have a good ducking in the making so this should do it less than two meters
one meter. And just about contact. There we go. SAS off and let the wobble happen. And we're docked. All right. Okay, very good. Turn off the docking camera. We don't need that. Now, let's see. This ship is now ready to have a course plotted for it. And by the way, this uh, keythane unit here, I didn't explain these plates that I have here. The idea is that if this ship has to land on a planet or body or whatever with an atmosphere, our Kerbal pilot will be able to go down the ladder here get onto these outer fuel tanks and use these to be able to walk around and repack the parachutes. And that should take care of that. Okay, now let's get out a little bit of navigation. Now the first one, in fact, let's go ahead and give this a new name. Rename vessel, ship, and we're going to send this one to Eve. And I'm going to use the maneuver planner because it has this wonderful ability to find maneuver node, well, specifically launch windows. I will set Eve's orbit as the target. And actually, it looks like Eve might actually be in the right position very soon. So, let's see. And we'll go transfer to another planet. Create node at the next transfer window. And launch will be in 177 days. Okay. So that will be fine. We will set an alarm for that. Add an alarm. Eve fuel launch. And let's go ahead and give it 60 minutes worth of uh, buffer there to make sure we have time to adjust things if needed. All right. Very good. That takes care of that. Don't need this. And now, I get to launch four more ships to put together another one of these. And this next one, we'll be sending it to Moho. And I'll catch up with you when I'm ready to set the course for that one. And I'm back. Granted, it doesn't look a whole lot different because this is the same configuration as the other flights. However, this one is going to Moho. So let's switch to the map. Zoom out here. Select Moho as our target. And once again, we'll use the maneuver planner. transfer to that planet at the earliest launch window. Okay. That maneuver is planned. 1450 meters a second and the Moho flight is launching in 32 days. That's the soonest one yet. Very good. Set an alarm for that. Moho fuel launch. And 60 minutes worth of uh, time to make sure everything is right. Bad alarm. Okay. And now I'm going to be launching another one. Let's see. 
still got the map window up here. And the next one will be going to Drez. And after that, we'll be sending one out to Elu. And then I'm thinking... Obviously, nothing is going to ever land on Jewel. And so... Since Jewel has five moons, I'll need to send four more of these ships, one to go to each of Jewel's moons. So, catch up with you in a bit when I'm ready to set the course for Dreads. And here we are. Another ship launched and refueled and a new drive section attached to it. I guess we don't need the lights anymore. Ah, I already turned them off. Anyway, time to get this one renamed and plan its course. So we'll go ahead and rename the vessel. No, not Moho. What am I thinking? We already have one going to Moho. This one is going to Drez. Now, have a look here, set Drez as the target, and let's bring out the maneuver planner and plan our transfer to another planet. Oops, here we are. Transfer at next transfer window, create node. Close that. We have 25 days for the launch for this mission. Excellent. Alright, we'll go ahead and set an alarm for that. Dres fuel launch, and it will warn us 60 minutes ahead of time. Okay, so far we've got Fuel 3's plane change. Fuel to Duna plane change, the Eve fuel, the uh, fuel factory headed to Duna, we have one headed to Moho, and we have one headed to Drez now. So, next up, I'm thinking we need to set one up for Elu and see what we can get there. And, uh, by the way, just in case anybody was wondering, the reason I'm not showing all of the launches of uh, these uh, fuel factories and the two refueling flights and then the flight for this to attach the drive is that uh, while the fuel factory takes about roughly 15 minutes or so real time to from launch to parking orbit, Bringing the XD Drive Mark V up here from launch to the point where it docks, transfers fuel, and then does a re entry, or from when it just docks up here like so, the docking maneuver is time consuming, and those XD Drive Mark V flights generally take about an hour and ten minutes or so each in real time. In mission elapse time, it's more like about three to five hours each so that's why I'm not actually showing all of those it would be long and repetitive and redundant even with 4x video so I am now going to switch down to the launch pad and launch another fuel factory that will be set up and sent to Elu all right here we are with the next one up for maneuver planning. Let's go ahead and rename this one. And that one is bound for Elu. I'm not sure if I spelt that right, but we'll find out shortly enough. We need 
our maneuver planner and let's have a look outside. Zoom out. And we need the orbit of Elu. Okay, I didn't spell it right. I'll have to fix that. All right. And we need a transfer to another planet at the next window. Okay. 1928 meters per second and it happens in 32 days. Very good. Alright, let's set up the alarm clock for it. Elo... Let's fix the spelling. Launch, and as usual, 60 minutes notice. Alright, we'll be launching to Drez, then Moho, Elu, Duna, Eve, Fuel 2 for Duna, it's plane change, and Fuel 3 for Jewel, it's plane change. Alright. Alright, let me fix the name of this thing. Alright. Next up, we have ships that are bound for Jewel that need to be launched. And, well, at the very least, I want to get the first one. Oh, wait a minute. If I set Jewel as a target, and make a... Alright, remove nodes, create a node, and that happens in 38 days, so we've got time. And go ahead and remove the nodes, get rid of that. Alright, there's plenty of time to launch a few ships that will be bound for the moons of Jewel. And that's the next thing that will be taken care of. And finally, here we are with the last of these interplanetary fuel ships ready to have its course plotted. And this one, go ahead and get it renamed. is going to Laith. Alright, so let's go ahead and get that maneuver figured out. I can remember the correct direction for zoom out. Alright, since Laith is a moon of Jewel, Jewel will be our target orbit to start with. Alright, let's do a maneuver plan. Transfer to another planet at the next window. Let's see. 37 days, 15 hours. For only 1100 meters per second. That's not bad. Well, just under 1200. Not bad at all. Okay, go ahead and close that. And let's schedule the maneuver. Lathe fuel launch. 60 minutes lead time. Okay. So, next time out, our first order of business will be to take care of these launches in order. Drez, Moho, Elu, Lathe, the uh, trip, the ship for Duna, and one for Eve in 175 days, and then at 339 days we come to Fuel 2, and it's plane change for Duna, and in one year, 219 days, we come to Fuel 3's plane change for Jewel, which means that this ship will probably get to Lace long before Fuel 3 gets anywhere near Jewel. <laughs> Ain't that a mess. Alright, so we'll be dealing with all of this very soon. 
In the meantime, thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here.